everybody, I'm Deidre. I'm Adarius. And we're Night Treks. We're here to give you a guide to Universal Studios Orlando 2022. There's some things that have changed from last year. So uh, if you're new here, if you haven't been in a while, come with us, let's show you around. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is show you how to get here, mm -hmm. starting with parking. Today was a low crowd day, so no lines at all for parking. You're gonna see that uh, compared to our last video at Islands of Adventure, which was super packed into Crazy. the highway. Crazy. Yeah, so uh, we'll show you how to get here. We can't film security, but uh, we'll meet you right back here. Yeah. have a character and rows so it's super easy for you to remember just follow the signs so there's two garages they each have different characters so you won't get confused and then just follow the signs to the attractions you're gonna go through security we're not allowed to film there just make sure you don't bring any sort of uh, contraband check the website for the official rules on what not to bring all right, there is where security is. So we're not allowed to film there, but that's where you pop out from parking garages and security. Let's go this way through City Walk, all the way down to the Universal Store. All right, once you make it to the Universal Studios store, you're gonna hang a right and head over this way. That way takes you to Islands of Adventure. We're going this way. And we're back. Famous bridge where everybody likes to take their pictures with the Universal Ball. Great angle right here. All right, we've made it to the front entrance. Gonna go get scanned in. We are using fingerprints, so the first time you do it, make sure you use a finger that is convenient for you. Right, right inside the park. Right here's the Universal Studios store. If you go off to your left, you're gonna find restrooms, rental services for wheelchairs and strollers and also some lockers. On your right is gonna be on location, cameras, film, gifts. You can purchase the universal photos, the all day photo here. Over there is gonna be some lockers and then right around the corner, if you go like, like that, around the turnstiles, you're gonna get guest services. Okay, let's head on in. Make some dining reservations here. <laughs> That's the Today Cafe. Really good breakfast and lunch. A lot of good snacky and healthy options. Right here's the Universal Studios store. Just a mod podge of everything Universal. Once you get to Despicable Me and the Today Cafe here, you gotta make a decision. Go this way if you want to see the Born Stuntacular or the Hollywood Horror Makeup Show. We're gonna go this way, and then we're gonna end up back there by the Born Stuntacular. You know it's a slow day when Minion, Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem is only 20 minutes. That's crazy slow. Right here you've got the Betty Boop store. Shrek 4D is no longer a thing. It is closed. So obviously by the um, Minion stuff we have on the outside, it's probably going to be some sort of Minion themed ride, but we don't know yet. Seeing as how they already have a Minion ride on this side, I don't know what they could put on the other side that would compare, you know? Right, they already have a show. So... Definitely made one big meet and greet area. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome. But either a meet and greet or it's going to be a ride, but I'm really hoping it's a ride. Next is the Rip Ride Rocket. Pick your favorite tunes to jam along to while you go on this roller coaster of an adventure. All right, this big building right here is the Nest Building. This is gonna hold the Transformers ride. There's a Transformers meet and greet done this way. We're gonna actually take you around town and then we'll end up back over there. Right over here's a little fake grassy area with turf. Some concerts are held there. Lots of good stuff. 
Right across from that is the Monsters Cafe. Monsters Cafe has really good rotisserie chicken, barbecue pork sandwich, um, salads, desserts, and it's super good themed in there too. You've got Frankenstein, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Dracula. Let's head back over this way. Next you're gonna come upon The Tonight Shop and The Tonight Show Race Through New York with Jimmy Fallon Ride. This is a 3D ride. Uh, take some Dribamine before you get on. You should be good to go. Hashtag Panda. <laughs> this entrance right here is for Virtual Line and Express. If you're just doing standby, it's right over here. Right over there is Central Park. Nice area to sit down and relax. Quite a few benches. Wow, look at this building. So normal. So inconspicuous. <laughs> but this building on the corner right by the Revenge of the Mummy ride, right across from Jimmy Fallon, it is a tribute store. Sometimes, not all the time, and it's never the same one. There's a Mardi Gras tribute store. There's a Halloween Horror Nights tribute store. Pretty scary. There's a Christmas tribute store or a holiday tribute store. Pretty Christmassy. Pretty festive. <laughs> so it looks normal now, but if you come during one of those seasons, you're gonna get a really cool, really themed store. And each tribute store always have like an Easter egg on the inside of it. Pay to all yeah. the smaller details. Smaller details, look around. Mm -hmm. And the Halloween Horror Nights tribute store, oh, the last one, <laughs> it was Jack slowly going insane and writing in his journal. So we went through and we read each diary entry. It's just a really cool store. They put a lot of work into it. So. Yeah. Right, making our way past the tribute store. Making my way downtown. This right here is the Revenge of the Mummy. It is behind walls. This is going to be closed until late summer. There's no reopening date. They just said late summer. This is a dark indoor roller coaster. Really fun. Super fast. Um, we're kind of sad it's closed, actually. This is our number one go-to first ride of the day every single day we come. So uh, going six months without it is going to be rough. Right across from the Revenge of the Mummy is Finnegan's. Pretty good place to eat. So it looks like Sahara Traders, the store that the mummy spits you out into, is still open. As well as the arcade that's right next to it. Right down here is gonna be uh, where the Blues Brothers come out in their car and sing, right next to Annie Ann's pretzels. The Blues Brothers actually bring their car, park it here, and then get up there and sing. All right, let's head down this way. All of these are just uh, store facades. They're not real, but it's a great place to chill out, take pictures. Let's head on this way towards Optimus Prime. These alleyways are a really good place to take pictures. What? Good what? No, you can't go in the kitty cat club. That's a facade. You can, that's for employees. That's the store. <laughs> I'm coming out of the kitty cat club. Uh uh, sir. Oh wait, no, it's kind of big, but it sounds wrong. It does. That's exactly what that is. So, <laughs> sir, look at the lady. <laughs> This is the Film Vault, <laughs> motion picture memorabilia store, right across from the Transformers 3D ride. Very fun ride. Take a Dramamine if you get motion sickness, but definitely do it. Do it. Do it. Do it! We're riding the Transformers ride. If you uh, take some Dramamine if you get motion sickness. Oh, yeah. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna head down there in just a second. But uh, we want to show you where you can meet some of your favorite Transformers. Let's go around the side of the building. Alright, there's the gift shop where the ride pops you out at. I'm going to go down here, make a right. Alright, we rounded the corner. And Bumblebee is out right now, yes! Alright, we're coming around for Transformers. This is Bull's Gym. It, it's it's attached to the film vault. It's all Bulls one store. Gym. Yeah. It's not a real gym. It's a store. Oh, well. <laughs> all right, let's head on this one. Oh, it's, it's not a real gym. It's a gym. <laughs> <laughs> let's head on down this way to one of our favorite places in the whole place. 
Starbucks, yes! All right, we're on the front of Starbucks and we're back to the arcade. Over here, there's also a haagen an Irish import store, and restrooms. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we gotta take a break. We'll be right back. What's up? What's up, buddies? Hello. Hello. Theme park pigeons. How you doing? How you doing? Mission accomplished. We got coffee. Wait. We got coffee. We got coffee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Bye. laughs> All right. There is the Starbucks. Down there is the Mummy Coaster. Right here is Louis' restaurant. Some pizza, some pasta, some gelato. And then here, stop. I'm just <laughs> Over there on that scaffolding, they actually have beat builders. Four guys come out, beat on all the drums. Really cool set. Don't miss it. Next up is Fast and the Furious Supercharged. Uh, jury's still out whether or not this is a good ride. It's a great ride. Because you want to know why? Because it's about family. It's a 15 minute, do you want to ride it? It's a 15 minute wait. It's a great ride because it's all about family. And if you're all about family, and this is the ride for you. Oh no, I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> I couldn't even give a straight face with that one. <laughs> Up next is Richter's Burgers. Quick service location. Okay, Alcatraz gets you some good drinks. So over here on the Fisherman Wharf in San Francisco. And right next to it is the Candy Factory. Over here is Bruce. Let's go see Bruce the Shark. All right. There's a buddy the shark. Oh, hang on, let me get a wide angle. There we go. There we go, now you can see all of them. All right, there's a custom gear shop with the cool cars out front. That's where the Fast and Furious rides spit you out at. Lombard Seafood Grill, nice sit down restaurant. Really good seafood. Right next to it is San Francisco Pastry Company. Get you some donuts, croissants. It's a good place for breakfast. Some amazing pictures where you can be uh, Scooby Doo in the gang or any of your favorite characters. And then characters, sketches. Fan of Easter eggs. You look right over here if you've ever been here before. Oh, yeah. Yep. So they tore down the uh, Jaws ride. Mm -hmm. But this is, uh, there's still some Easter eggs and mementos. Well, they only once. I only wrote that ride once. Right next to it is King's Cross Station. This is the train that will take you to the other park, Islands of Adventure, only if you have an annual pass or a park-to-park -park ticket. The wait can become quite long in the afternoon, so uh, prepare yourself. Uh, yes, I do want to add a couple of notes to that. If it's over 30 minutes and you have somewhere to be over in Islands of Adventure, we suggest walking. Walking, yes. Because you get there faster. Um, Sometimes when it says 45 minutes, it's an hour and a half. Right, yeah. right. If, but if it's your first time, yeah, you should write it. Yeah, you have nothing else to do. Like, you don't have, like, a wait time for Hagrid's or, like, a virtual queue. Reservation for a restaurant? No, then definitely write it. It's a show on the train. It's different there and back. So write it both ways. Yeah. All right. And here we are in... You may be saying, wow. Look at all this Harry Potter merchandise. And there's the night bus. And, uh, yeah, this, this is it, right? We're in London. But you'd be wrong. Let's go in here to what looks like the restrooms. It does. A lot of people miss this because it doesn't look like anything. This is Diagon Alley. You're going to find your favorites like Weasley's Wizard Weezes. Leaky Cauldron. You have the Leaky Cauldron restaurants. Um, you're going to have ice cream shop, the wand shop, all kinds of Harry Potter goodies galore. So many different stores. And there's even a roller coaster back here. Well, it's a it's a 3D coaster. Still a roller coaster. Still a roller coaster. Still really fun. <laughs> Lots of cool Easter eggs all throughout Diagon Alley here. Here is Gringotts Bank with the Escape from Gringotts coaster. This place 
you could spend all day here. Um, going into the stores, having the wand choose you, riding the ride, seeing the shows. There's a couple of shows on the stage. And don't forget to visit Nocturne Alley. It's a little hidden. Yeah. But uh, you can find it. It's dark, shady, cool. A lot of coolness back there. A lot of air conditioning. Yes. Perfect time to get away from the heat. Um, yeah, you can literally make a full day out of just the Harry Potter world. Mm -hmm. With, from doing the spells, like you said, you know, getting your wand chosen. Uh, if you buy a specialty interactive wand, there's different spots all over Diagon Alley for you to do spells and make stuff move and light up and rain, and it's just really cool back here. Yeah. All right, let's head back out and explore some more of uh, Universal Studios. Let's do it. All right, we popped up right here by the night bus. Is that our bus? Yeah. Took it away, yet. <laughs> we got a meet and greet over there sometimes, weather permitting. Don't forget to visit your favorite creature over here at number 12. You can knock on the door if you want to, but he's on a timer. Oh, okay. But he's on the timer, so you don't you don't have to. You get, you, okay, you gonna do it? Housekeeping. Say goodbye to London. I'm gonna take a left. Come to this big, huge theater. It used to be the Fear Factor Live. Oh. Uh, we still don't have a replacement for it, but during Halloween Horror Nights, they had a sick show. It was awesome. Let's head this way towards World Expo. Watch out for these guys over here. They want to sell you vacations, and um, they're called Body Snatchers. They're just trying to do their job, but uh, you will take a tour of a hotel to get those upgraded tickets. entrance let's go have a chat about lockers all right Did all right and lockers lockers okay so rip ride rocket absolutely nothing on your person um you can have your lanyard it must be tucked into your shirt or in like a zippered pocket no hats they legally have to let you wear your glasses i highly suggest taking them off putting them in a locker I almost lost my glasses, I don't know how many times, on Rip Ride Rocket. Um, popcorn buckets will fit into lockers, the refillable ones here at Universal. Bring a gallon-sized bag, put your popcorn in that, because you're going to need to take the lid off to squish it a little bit to pop it in the locker, and I don't want you to lose all your popcorn. Freestyle cups. There are cups here with the Coca-Cola Freestyle Machines, and you pay one fee, buy the cup, pay the fee, and all day long you get free refills. However. When you're putting them in a locker, they're not leak-proof. Dump them, take the lid off, and make sure they're empty. You don't want everyone's stuff beneath your locker to get soaked. You can always go and refill it back up. Oh yeah, always. The free lockers will fit small bags, um, small umbrellas, hats, stuff like that. If you have a really large bag, you're going to have to pay to rent a locker. Yeah. Um, we suggest renting one at the beginning of the day in the very front of the park to keep your huge stuff in. One, because you don't want to have to run a locker each and every single time you come to a ride. Right. And two, it, it'll save your back. So leave your, <laughs> right. leave your big bag up at the front. Things like Gringotts, Escape from Gringotts, Men in Black, The Revenge of the Mummy. They want you to put your stuff in a locker like backpacks, um, hats go tucked into your shirt, or you can put them in a locker. Um, but if you have a fanny pack, you're good to go. A three-pronged fanny pack. Yeah. Um, another thing to note too is also uh, you can open your locker with your park ticket, but you can also do it with your ID as right. long as it has a barcode It on. needs a barcode. If you yeah. used your phone with the app, and we'll talk about the app in a little bit, if you use your app to get into the park, you can ask the team member for, oh no, it's Florida, y'all. <laughs> and it's about to rain. Uh, you can ask a team member for a paper locker pass and it just has a barcode on it and you can use that so you have several options you can use your room key you can use your park ticket you can use your state issued id you can use a paper ticket from a team member so yeah. all right let's head on this way we're gonna head towards simpsons there's the mib gear shop where the men in black ride spit you out at coca-cola store lots of freestyle machines in there you can also buy your refillable cup in there and here is springfield simpsons land Rusty Land, The Simpsons Ride, 3D Ride, very motion sickness. If I ride this, my day will be ruined. Lots of carnival games here. 
like a ton. You also have Kang and Kodo's Twirl and Hurl. It's a it's like a kitty ride, but it's fun no matter your age. Got the Quickie Mart. Duff Beer Stand, where you can actually get a Duff Beer and Buzz Cola. Right across is Cletus's Chicken Shack, Moe's, Krusty Burger. It's all connected. It's one huge cafeteria with lots of different food options. If you have picky people and everybody wants something different, this cafeteria here in Simpsons is going to be your best bet to please everybody. So, yes. Uh, one thing I will know, please don't feed the birds. Oh my <laughs> gosh. That's why you hear all these birds, because people are feeding them and they're just swarming. Per bird poop everywhere. Resist. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Lard Lad Donuts and ice cream. Bumblebee Man's Tacos. And I tell you what, this may be the best lunch in the whole park. Tacos. Korean chicken carne asada. All right, we're exiting Springfield. Now you've got the DeLorean and the train from Back to the Future. Right across is Animal Actors on Location. Cute, cute animal show. So cute. So this show is so cute. It really is. They take animal actors, like the the pigs and the dogs and the birds that you see in your favorite shows, <laughs> and they made a stage show with them. And it's funny and it's cute and kids are gonna love it. Her favorite was the uh, corgis. <laughs> the cute little butts. They're cute butts. She's like, oh look at that butt. Look at that butt. <laughs> That will take you back to the front of the park, but there's still another area back here to explore. Woody Woodpecker's Kid Zone. Starting strong, first out the gate, SpongeBob store pants. If you've ever wanted to step inside of a SpongeBob episode, now's your chance. You can even go in the pineapple and say hi to Gary. Oh, uh, and, well, who was the last, someone was very creepy. I think it was Patrick. Patrick? Uh, it was either Patrick or Spongebob. They were like oh. peeking around the anchor yeah. here. You can That's meet like, your favorite characters too. So. Oh, it, it was creepy at the time because there was nobody else back here. It was like, it was almost empty. Yeah, and they were just like, hey. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> Next, you've got E.T.'s Adventure. Dark ride where it feels like you're riding the bicycle, the Elliot Road. This is Fievel's Playland. It's a water play area. All right, next is our DreamWorks, is the DreamWorks destination. Go in there and dance with your favorite characters. It's super fun. We're gonna link that video down below where we went and danced the day away. And uh, also to get out of the heat for a little bit. Yeah. I love, I'm a fan of AC, so I'll always mention, this is a good place to get out <laughs> to of the get heat. To get some AC, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a starter coaster for kids, Woody Woodpecker's Nuthouse Coaster. It's closed right now due to weather, but it's normally up and running. Very quick, very cool coaster. I would compare it to the Barnstormer over at Disney World. Next up, Curious George Goes to Town play area. You will get wet. This is a wet pad play area. Oh, there goes Adarius. He's going to go play. <laughs> you can shoot people with balls? There's like some pressure. It's pressurized in there. Can they go pop? Oh my, God. oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so the buckets dump 6,000 gallons of water. You've got the water squirt guns. This whole area is wet. And you've got a ball factory back in there, back past that sign. Pressurized ball cannons, ball pit. Super fun area for kids. They just turned it into a green, so they're turning all the water back on. We don't want to get a lot of kids on camera. That's not cool. So we're gonna head out, but uh, you get the gist. This is a water fun area. Oh, okay. There's oh, the there's the bell. Oh man. Ah! <laughs> the bell means the water is coming. All right, let's get out of here before the kids pile in. <laughs> yeah. This is getting ready to open back up. It was just closed for lightning. That makes sense. Keep the kids safe. You know, all that good stuff. All right, let's head back towards the roundabout by the animal actors. All right, there's the kids zone we just came from. There's Simpsons over there. Let's head up this pathway towards the front of the park. This is such a nice path to walk down. Unless it's Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> then, uh, then it's the scariest path ever. Watch out for all the open gaps. Oh my gosh, it's so scary. Well, let's see what's up here. Hi. 
Ah yes, the East Green. A nice grassy area for you to come and take a nap. Let your kids run around. How, how is it? This is great! <laughs> <laughs> Set up an umbrella. What? You're good. <laughs> I'm about to do the whole, the little tip top. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, this is a great view. I see almost everything. And out here on this lagoon, they have a nightly show. Depends on the season, what the show is. But uh front row over there you will get wet from the backsplash because it's water with projections on it. Sometimes there's fireworks, there's lasers, they project cool stuff onto those buildings over there. They shut down that road right over there. Super, super cool. Alright, let's keep heading this way. You're gonna come to Central Park Crepes at the end of this pop walkway. So good. Ooh, seasonal. Uh, cinnamon cookie butter right now. Smoked brisket is always a good winner and cookies and cream, so rich and creamy. All right, we've made it to the cross points here. There is Transformers. Down there is where you can see your favorite Transformers, sometimes Optimus Prime, sometimes Bumblebee. There's Rip Ride Rocket. It's not going right now. There's a lot of bad weather in the area, but... And then this restaurant right here is called Mel's Drive-In quick service location and this building right here is going to be your horror makeup show. They're going to talk about how Universal has been the creator of lots of cool horror makeup, their techniques. It's also a comedy show. There's lots of surprises. It's a little scary, but it's always funny. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you at least don't get a chuckle out of it. A chuckle? Did I, say I, it right? I always get a belly laugh or like five. <laughs> All right, so while we're here by Mel's Drive-In and the Horror Makeup Show, we want to talk to you about the app. Because in the app, you're going to be able to see show times for the Horror Makeup Show, for the Born Stuntacular, for Celestina Warbeck over in Diagon Alley. Mm -hmm. You're also going to be able to mobile order your food through the app for places like Mel's Drive-In, for places like Louie's Pizzeria. Uh, just lots of good options inside the app. Also, there's a parking reminder. So you put in which character you're parked at, which level, which row, that way at the end of the day when you've been in the park for 12 hours and you're tired you're like where did <laughs> I park handy. you just open your app also you can store your ticket information in there um, annual passes day tickets multi-park tickets special event tickets it's a really great app so get it use it yeah, it's also a quick shortcut to um just say for like Hagrid's, uh, you gotta get on a virtual queue, it will let you know like, hey, this is a virtual queue. Right. Oh yeah, wait times, duh. Yeah. Wait times Definitely. are in there. The biggest, yeah. <laughs> being one of the biggest. And they'll tell you how to get on the virtual waits, park hours, there's a map in there to all the different resorts if you're staying on site. Um, if you need to know the closest restroom, you just go to the search function and type in restroom. Yeah, it's gonna have the smoking area and it's also gonna have the updated regulations on the mask as well. Right, so mask, rules are changing almost daily yeah hollywood the universal hollywood is now requiring vaccine cards and an id or a negative COVID test and an id universal orlando here in florida no but i mean you never know by the time you come just just check the COVID rules check their official website because whatever we tell you today may not be true tomorrow right so. right next to mel's drive-in is going to be the prop shop Again. Looks like we got a meet and greet. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, it's El Barto. But uh, oh yeah, in the prop shop. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> in the prop shop. Uh, you can find some decorations from the season that just passed. After Mardi Gras, I'll get you some Mardi Gras decorations. Hi Bart, how are you? Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> the dark room is where you can get your picture taken and put into those funny poses again. You can be the Transformers, you can be all kinds of cool characters. Right next to that is Studio Styles. This is only for Universal Orlando annual pass holders. Then Schwab's Pharmacy, amazing ice cream. Right across the street is the Five and Dime. Apparently we're gonna go in. All right, let's go. All right, so this store is where the horror makeup show pops out. So there's lots of cool horror icons in here. It also, is the place where the Born Stuntacular show pops out. So you've got a lot of spy gear and stuff over here. Something is happening down here. Let's go find out what it is. Oh, 
over here in front of the horror makeup show. We've got little tiny mini parades. They'll come out, they'll stop right here in the middle, and then you can dance around and say hi with them. Do you have uh, Diego or is it Dora Diego? I think it's both. Dora, Diego, yeah. Yeah. And Baby Jaguar. <laughs> this is a great park to just do meet and greets because you got the minions, you got Bart, and then over here Scooby and the gang. Hey. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi. <laughs> Brown Derby Hat Shop. Um, it's not open right now. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it isn't. But right across is the Born Stuntacular. Born Stuntacular is one of our favorite shows. Mm -hmm. Super fun, super loud. A lot of fire. A lot of fire, uh, fake gunshots. <laughs> Lots of action, punching, yeah. uh, heights. Jumping it, around. It feels like you're in there moving with him like a cameraman. So take some drumming, but definitely go see it. A lot of swinging. <laughs> All right, leaving behind the Born Stuntacular and Scooby and the gang. Come to the Hello Kitty store. This Hello Kitty store connects in the middle to the Betty Boop store. So yeah, right over there is Betty Boop, the blue building, Hello Kitties, and the white building. And now we're back to the Universal Studios store, the Today Cafe. Right through there is where you go to get guest services, restrooms, lockers. We hope that this has helped you to plan your trip out here to Universal Studios. We're travel agents, if you want mm -hmm. us to help you book a trip, let us know which resort you want to go to, how many days. And it's that. free. It's free for you. Universal <laughs> pays us, not you. No right. worries. Right. Yeah, send us an email. I'm always looking at my emails every day. So. So annoying. Yeah. We, we got you. We got you. <laughs> just, just send us an email and I got you from there. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have more guide videos as the year goes on. Mm -hmm. um, Islands of Adventure is already out. Go check that one out. Mm -hmm. And uh, subscribe. Subscribe for more. You'll get alerts. Subscribe. You'll get alerts to when we drop a new video. That way you don't miss anything. Yeah. Also, shout out to our newest Patreon subscribers, Sean and Nadia. Thank you so much for helping us further our content and bring you more videos, better stuff. We appreciate you. Uh, if you want to become a Patreon member, information is down below in the description. So uh, we'd be happy to have you as part of the Night's Treks fam. Yeah. And, uh, thank you so much for checking with us. If there's any questions we didn't answer, ask them down below. Mm -hmm. We will always answer comments and questions. Always. Also hit that thumbs up button for us. Yeah, and if you think your friends would like this video, share it. Please. <laughs> we appreciate everything that you do. We are here for you. Yeah. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you real soon. Bye.